ABC's College Football. Brought to you by Honda, maker of fine quality automobiles. Test drive a Honda at your local dealer today. And by Valvoline Motor Oil. People who know, use Valvoline. And right now, UCLA is number one in the Pac-10. 2-0. and oh. Embarrassed by Oklahoma and Michigan. But they have come from behind against Stanford. And last week, Washington State. The Cougars are also in Los Angeles this afternoon. And they will meet the Trojans of Southern California. USC, a conference loser to Washington. So this one big tonight over there for the Trojans. They do not want to go 0 and 2 and be swept by the state of Washington. The Cougars have got one of the finest players in America in that kicker, Jason Hansen. We're going to talk about him if we get a moment. Here it is, UCLA kicking off. Terry Vaughn will down it in the end zone. It'll come out at the 20 yard line. Dick, how about the numbers from the first half? Well, it's so even all the way through the ball game. As you can see, there's only six or seven yards difference in total offense, actually 15 yards, both turnovers, each one a piece. Uh, running game equal, passing game very close. I think the big difference was UCLA throwing the interception in the end zone there. They were down there. They, they could have at least come out maybe with three points. You're absolutely right, Coach Vermeil. Veal is back at quarterback. Mark, I know you had an opportunity to chat with uh, Terry Donahue after first down. We want to find out what the UCLA coach had to say. Here it is, first and ten for Veal, showing the eye bone look for Arizona, and they're traveling white uniforms. 14 all UCLA and Arizona, the fullback straight ahead. Mark, what did Terry have to say coming out of the locker room? Well, Brent, what he did was remind his team of what happened in last year's game in the blowout when Arizona just took them totally out of the game. He told his players that their will is what's going to do it in the second half for them. All you have to do is remind them, and that's enough motivation for the Bruins. Yeah, that was that. They're talking about that 42 to 7 loss last year, where, and I was up there, and uh, Arizona just blew them away. Set a, a rushing record against a UCLA defense for 480 yards, a modern record. Hampton, Johnson, and Greathouse set behind Veal, the option quarterback for the Wildcats. Keeping it and read beautifully by the defensive man for the Bruins. That was Ale, the former Irish defensive lineman. They might have missed him in South Bend this afternoon. What he did is he came down off the corner very hard. Over here from the left side, you'll see him come right down in the quarterback's face. I clear that. Here he comes now. The motion there. He starts to fake. Now you see him flash right in there, and he was in there before the quarterback could even regroup and make the pitch. And they've changed quarterbacks. Malaulu. Number third 12 down. has replaced Beal here on third and long. Now this is just a tip off that they're going to throw you would think if they're going to send him in in passing situations. He backs up UCLA gets pressure on him forces him run. to come he up and run. he takes off. Ooh, Third and six tackle. yard line first down before Turner can tackle him 17 yards boy you call this one right. Yeah he can run it almost as well as Beal uh, but he, I think he throws the ball better. Now you'll see he's back to throw. They have good outside pressure. You see Rosine Keaton coming out, forcing him back inside. Now he's a running back. He's no longer a quarterback. Watch Eric Turner come and give him a shot right. Boom, that's good tackle, open field. That's tough to make. Now Veal is back. Uh, your feeling about shuttling quarterback. Hey, I don't second guess the coaches. No situation. Too good a front. Come on, no. step up. <laughs> Veal running the option. Great house on the pitch. Ooh, good defense. Boy, that was close. See, what you do with the option, you try to get them outnumbered. You try to get more offensive players outside than they have defensive players. That time they were even, so they had people there to make the tackle. Number 66, Emmanuel Anwatwebi, pre-kinesiology major. Second and long, word from Arizona, Michael Bates. Shoulder injury first half, sideline. We don't know if he'll be back. That hurts him because he has that great speed. Beal will throw it. Incomplete. Shalinski deflecting the pass. Well, he's six foot five, and when he puts those hands up, he can bat it down and play volleyball with you. And defensive line coaches teach those kind of moves. Jacob Bernie, the defensive line coach, I guarantee you has had drills where when the quarterback cocks his arm, he gets those arms up. You see, he gets that left hand right there and knocks it back. Good play and good coaching by Jacob. Bernie, the defensive line coach. Malaulu checks back in for Arizona. 
third down and long. Straight back. Oh, good defensive play. Terrific defensive play by number 14, Michael Williamson. Michael Williams. <laughs> Michael Williams made a great play coming on in this. He good tight coverage. He moves inside out, goes right for the ball at his highest point. Doesn't interfere with the, the right to the receiver to catch the ball. Well done. I don't even have him on my roster. <laughs> That's Mrs. Williams' son. Yeah. <laughs> Fourth down, you. Arizona. There's a new guy. <laughs> Miller back to return it. High punt. He'll let this one. Roll free, but it's a Bruin. It'll be a live ball. He's got to get out of there. Did you see him? He almost reached out at that punt. 33 yards. It'll be UCLA ball when you come back here early in the third quarter. on their arch rival Michigan or a Pac-10 battle as Southern Cal meets Stanford. It's ABC's college football next Saturday. Tommy Maddox now ready to go back to work here for UCLA with the score tied at 14. He has thrown two touchdown passes and one interception. Michael Bates shaken up still waiting to see whether or not he will return. First and 10 the play has been sent in by Homer Smith from the press box high atop the Rose Bowl. A beautiful fake by Maddox rolls out to the right and then throws incomplete. So that play was called by Homer Smith. He has one of the most interesting backgrounds of any coach in all of football. Folks, take a look at the list of degrees that Homer has. Here's Homer. There he is, right? Far right. Now, Dick, what does that qualify you to do all of those well, different a degree degrees? in economics, you can good financial advice to the quarterback with a business degree you can tell him where to put the money. And and then with the the religious background, he can pray that all the uh, advice he gave him is right. <laughs> Big hole for UCLA out to the 35 yard line. Here you're taking a look from the end zone. Again, tossing it back there, and he wants to get it stressed just a little bit. He sees that crease right in there, and here comes the inside-out pursuit. Well, you've got to have that pursuit inside-out. Brown, again, the featured ball carrier. Split to Maddox is right. Now Smith will step in front of him. They reset it an eye. Brown. To the first down for UCLA. See, he is a hundred yard rusher consistently if they give him the ball often enough. They've just got to give him the ball often enough. They've decided that he is the guy. Kevin Williams, number 20, is not playing today. He's been a little bit banged up. Sean Wills is the backup, but they just have to keep giving him the football. He'll make him, maybe not the long runs, but he'll he'll work for his yardage. He's got 13 carries, 74 yards. That's efficient running. throwing on first down incomplete had a tight end open working the far sideline Randy Austin number 95 I get a kick what Homer said you said it earlier Homer Smith the court, quarterback and quarter, coordinator says that that Maddox is a no sweat kind of guy he's meaning by that is when he talks to him on the field he's a I know sweat I'll get it done I'll get it done you know before really analyzing how difficult the assignment is and he said <laughs> he learns in the ball game though Audible, audible. And the back split. Smith slipped, trying to cut. It'll be third and long. Mm -hmm. 
Richard Maddox there defensively. He's had a good year for the Wildcats. Well, he leads the Pac-10 in sacks with 10, and he hasn't been a starter. They put him in the ball game now. Actually had six sacks coming in this game. How about San that Diego score? State. Well, that kid can throw the ball down there, San Diego. What's his like, name, McGuire? Like I told you, the wacky whack. La Chapelle stepping in front of Maddox from the shotgun under pressure throws complete first down UCLA and that was Reggie Moore number four Reggie Moore went down and turned inside the double zone meaning they had divided the deep half of the field 50 50 and covered short now here he is he knows he's going to fall away this is when you it's an advantage to have that strong arm because he's falling away from his throw here's the route see short coverage up now he turns him loose he works up into the zone the deep half of the field right there covered by a safety settles down and gets it there that's the advantage of the strong arm being able to throw that falling away ball at the Arizona 43 yard line Brown who to cut back fumbles. Arizona recovers tell you who caused that that was number 50 Darren Case coming down from the backside it looked like he came down from the backside and knocked it out if UCLA got it back no I think that's oh, Arizona's Arizona all the way they can't make two mistakes in one game you're gonna see it coming right now you'll see coming from the backside there's Darren Case number 50 and uh, 71 Richard Maddox number 71 coming in and giving him the love tap Now the officials out on the field. Hey, hey, there's no instant replay, guys. That's a fumble. Missed one already in the first half. What goes around comes around. They blew one of those in the first half. Well, Tommy can't believe this one, and neither can we. Yeah. Let's take another look at that. There's the ball carrier right there in the middle of your screen. He's got the ball in his left hand. Now here comes Darren Case, number 50. He gives him a shot. Now the guy, there's the ball. That is a fumble all the way. For, my gosh. The, 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 you better give those guys a cane than, than a CNI dog. That's absolutely ridiculous. How you could not have someone stand up, I mean, that's embarrassing. I don't agree with Coach Tomey when he's saying that those guys officiate as good as a coach's coach. That's baloney. Play the down. Therefore, it will be first down. That's three times yeah. in two weeks. That's absolutely obnoxious. Now it's first down. Well, they just decide to do it over. So is this a do-over? Darren Case, number 50, talking with him. I think you're smarter than they are, Darren. Get it straightened out. Jeez. I still Don't hit him hard next time, Darren. It's not legal to knock the ball out. God darn it, makes you mad. You want the game to be won by execution, uh, one side or the other on the line of scrimmage, not by a mistake. Now they're saying, oh, the old, the old inadvertent whistle. They learned that in the NFL, didn't they? Huh? They've been watching too much Monday night. Wow. First down for UCLA. That one hurts. Nice fake. Good fake. Maddox goes long. Incomplete at the five. And interference to call on Hammerschmidt. Yeah. Now they're going to have another conference. No. All right. It's going to go against Michael Moore. No, I think they just, maybe they're going to pick up the It ankle. goes against UCLA. <laughs> Hammer Schmidt was in front of him, Dick. I don't see any penalty either way. I just see defense being well, played. Uh, let me tell you, in that particular instance, that's all right, coach. That's okay. In that particular instance, with Hammerschmidt in front, 
it is entirely possible that the wide receiver pulled him down. I believe that's a good call. I think that's offensive interference. I don't think there's any question about that one right there. That was not a makeup call. That was offensive interference. Hammerschmidt would have had the interception inside the five yard line. Second down and long. Back to the game. Tied at 14 all now. Maddox in the shotgun. Throwing deep, That's Miller, incomplete. They tried to stretch the defense in that double zone to see if they could get that, beat the safety from rotating over there, and they almost did it. Scott Miller has that speed to get down the sideline. They really tested Jeff Hammersmith's ability to get over there. Good one in the Big Ten, Dick. You thought Illinois might go into Columbus and beat Ohio State. I see they're deadlocked at 17. Well, we saw Illinois play and beat uh, Colorado, so you have to give them uh, credit for being a good football team. Third down and 25. That's a hard one to convert. Maddox will look at it from the shotgun. They're coming after him up. Now he's forced to go to the right. Receivers are covered and a great diving catch short of the first down. However, they had to get down inside Arizona's 35-yard line, and he hit Sean LaChapelle, who made a couple of splendid catches against Washington State for Donahue last week. Well, what they did, too, they moved the ball to a position where if they punt it, they have a good chance maybe of dropping it inside the 20-yard line from here. Courtney With a great punt inside the 10. Now Lewis, who can be a game-breaker as a punt returner, standing back at the Arizona 11-yard line. He'll let this one go into the end zone for a touchback. We're going to take a break. It'll come out on the 20 yard line. It'll be first and 10. UCLA 14, Arizona 14. Basketball player, and you certainly knew Don Mumar. Yes, I do. Player. Yes. Now, first man. and ten. Ronnie Veal in at quarterback. Great house written down by Shaw after a three yard gain. That meet Shaw has made 21 tackles coming in there. He's had a pinch nerve problem last year, and it doesn't appear to be bothering him. That's why you see that big blue collar around the back of his helmet there. Look at the play selection. Yeah. UCLA completely balanced. Arizona, which figures. Yeah, and that's exactly what Homer wanted to do. Combine the two. Bates, who has returned, steps in motion for Beal, who's back. He'll go long. Bates has got great speed. It's intercepted by Turner at the 35-yard line. Ronnie Beal doesn't have a strong enough arm to wait that long to throw the ball to a sprinter downfield. He You'll see he comes off the action here, just a token fake. He's going to lay it up. He's waiting too long. If you're going to throw that ball deep to a sprinter, you've got to get it in the air much sooner. See, he had the steps on it. He had to throw a good interception, and that's a safety now making the interception, not a cornerback on, on a really a world-class sprinter. Just have to throw that ball sooner. He ball hangs. gets away. UCLA gets a first and ten. Ball spotted on their own 37-yard line. Bruins and the Wildcats are tied at 14, and a good one unfolding here in the Rose Bowl. Ooh, round behind the right side to the 41-yard line. Marcel Wade, 44, getting a lick on him. She's a big offensive guard. The left guard that time pulled around, leading the hold. Linebacker stepped up, Brent. 
and he just gave him lunch. Michael Moore checking in at wide receiver. Mod Rashad's nephew bringing the play in for the Bruins. Fake toss again. Maddox buys great time, but his receiver was covered, and he was smacked by Case, who's playing a fine game for the Wildcats. They tried that bootleg action, and, and actually one guard, they, they pull one guard one way and the other guard the other way, and one guard got tripped up over the uh, nose guard getting good penetration there. That Darren Case has played well today. He's been a factor. He's called his name a number of times. Miller and Moore, Reggie Moore, the wide man. He went toward the top of your screen. Off to Maddox's right, who's out of the shotgun on third and long. A little quicker viewing time of that secondary. Backs come out under pressure. Throws completely no, no. dropped at midfield. Tommy Maddox took a pretty good shot back there. La Chapelle, the receiver at midfield, that would have given the Bruins a first down. But instead, Maddox takes a lick, passes incomplete, and the Bruins must punt. You can see right there, number 46, Mike Parker chasing him, and then here comes Lewis, and he knocks him over backwards, coming out of the cornerback position. Must have been rolled up, playing the short zones. Are you all right? Yes, I'm okay, coach. What are those bells ringing? <laughs> exactly. And Lewis goes back to return this Kyler punt. And Kyler booms one, driving Lewis back inside the 20. Great punt in out of bounds. Look at him. Hey, the big fella comes through. Let's go get a few cool ones afterward. Get back in shape again. That away. <laughs> Everybody's all American, folks. We'll be right back. Jerry comes. seven yards buried Arizona back on its own seven yard line and he enjoyed every bounce before turning it over now and Malolu in at quarterback hands off to Bates and he was hit by Shaw you know Dick I mentioned a lot of basketball players over there for the Bruins Jim Harry my basketball coach is downstairs with Mark uh, Mark is the coach trying to get any of that talent well, you know, Brent, uh, Jim, is it true that Terry Donny has banned you from his practice and says he's trying, you're trying to steal his players? No, uh, he comes out and looks at mine. I see Homer Smith watching our guys work out all the time, but the football team's got about four or five great athletes that all were great high school basketball players. What about Tommy Maddox? Good ability there. He's our three-point shooter. I'm trying to get him from Terry. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Brent, Dick, you think Lute Olsen is watching this game? The gauntlet might be thrown down right now. Arizona, the big challenge. You bet. Hampton carrying the ball out. Close to a first down. Turner bringing him down. What was it Donahue told us that Herrick's got the four best tight ends at UCLA out of basketball practice and he won't let him come out from football? Coach Donahue looking downfield. Actually right now hoping for the turnover. Boy, that's the place in the field to get that turnover. Third and short. to great house first down and a few well, that's that's on individual effort that's on individual effort they defense that that was just running all the way all the defenders did a good job they just couldn't get him locked up you'll see him get bounced around now deep handoff eye they'll pull a backside guard he'll get it back to him deep boom he gets hit right there he keeps his body moving he keeps moving again there it runs out of that tackle oh good balance and finally the heavy hitter eric turner gets him on the ground that's good effort Tough yards against this UCLA. That's the best defense, defense we've seen him play this year. McGill steps in motion. Malaulu hit from the blind side, but gets it into the hands of Vaughn. And Vaughn cuts Easy. back beautifully. 30, 40, to the 47-yard line with Turner in pursuit. Did you remember us saying earlier in the ballgame, if they get the ball in that guy's hands, 
He has that real elusive running ability. He has great balance. I don't think he's the fastest guy in the world, but he has that real quickness. You'll see him come up now. He runs a delayed little quick screen type action. He gets it tucked away nice. Now he's just a ball carrier. See that low center of gravity, good wide base. Look at Hope oh, overrunning him right there. Now he's on his own. Here comes Wilson to come over and make the play. You know, Carlton, Williams, rather. Carlton Gray's loss is being felt in that secondary. That's a 29-yard gain. He was shaken up in the first half. Not in there. Malaulu slipping it outside. Forward pass incomplete, so it will be second and 10. It has been number 14, Williams, over there on that corner trying to fill in. Right, but I don't think that was a factor in this play. No question when you lose a Carlton Gray, it bothers your defense and, and you lose a little uh, confidence in your secondary play. But that play was uh, a pass that was actually pat on the line of scrimmage and across, and he ran all the way to cr uh, across the field to get where Williams was, so I wouldn't fault him. Dick, does that throw off their nickel package when they're forced to use him over there on that corner? Yeah, well, it may, it may make you a little bit leery of running some specific tight man coverages. Second down and 10. Malaulu on the option. Keeps it to the short side. He scored one touchdown. He can run it too. Close to a first down before he is brought down by Darby. Matt Darby, number 43. The safety alongside. That was the load there. option. The option in which they try to block the people taking the quarterback as we take a look at this. Now you're going to notice a back come out of here and he will block and he'll come sit. There won't be somebody here to take the quarterback instead of optioning all the way. Now see the back right faking back. Now see the block right there. No one to take the quarterback right now. He's out there two on one. Good design play, good change up call. Your guy Toomey's got third and inches. He's really a riverboat gambler. He'll let Malaulu turn it loose here. He doesn't. Great house for the first down. This is the kind of football that Arizona plays best. Pound at you, bang on you, wear you down. You've got 655 pounds on the right hand side of your offensive line running behind him. You know what you're telling me? What's that? Malaulu should be their quarterback. Now, don't start a controversy in Tucson. I'm, a, I'm in Los Angeles. This is a city of quarterback controversy. We should have asked Coach Tomey's <laughs> wife at dinner the other night if, if which quarterback she liked. Huh? <laughs> Kim fixed us some great tamales. Were they great? Oh, it was great. I didn't have to eat for three days. First and ten. Malulu keeping it again to the short side and taken out of bounds there at about the 33-yard line of UCLA. We're tied at 14. You folks that are just getting in from around at golf and watching a little football, the big story, Stanford shocked Notre Dame in South Bend this afternoon. And next week, along our Pacific Network, we'll watch the Stanford Cardinal go at it against the USC Trojans, who have a game tonight in the Coliseum against Washington State. You know that Malaula comes out of Carson High School. We have been all over the country broadcasting football games, and every week we go, there's a kid from Carson High School. And they're good ones, too, Coach. McGill. Oh, that's Stacey Argo stepped up in there nicely, number 41. I think he's down. Stacy Argo's a little sh shook right now, but he stepped up in there pretty good. We have an injury down on the field. You know, speaking of the Tommy family, these youngster downstairs with uh, Mark Jones. Let's go to Mark now. Okay. I think we probably have a little bit of a communication problem down there with, with Mark. We'll get it all straightened out. And hopefully, young man is not seriously injured, just shaken up on this play. I saw him step up in there and take on the isolation play. I think it was the fullback that hit him. Now let's check in with Mark. Mark? Well, I'm with Rich Tomey. We're going to give this one another shot. Rich, your father was the catcher for you. You're a pitcher on a city hardball league. What kind of a baseball catcher is he, honestly? Uh, he's a great catcher, I think. He's a... Uh, you know, he's, he's an old guy, but he, he does a good job, and uh, I love it. I love fishing, though. It's, it's great. I'm going to tell him you said you called him an old guy. Don't tell him that. Don't tell him that. You know. Brent Dickey's considering going to Arizona. If he does, Arizona has a great recruiting tool, his own dad. Yeah, well, when Rich is not out there pitching, you just saw the old coach out there throwing that 45-mile-an-hour fastball. He loves to compete. Straight ahead, great defense, defense by the Bruins that time. Brian Kelly. Brian Kelly is coming off injury. He had a knee problem. He's back. He's healthy. He's first team all Pac-10 
academic squad last year, made 49 tackles in his career, getting his first opportunity to play football this year, and he's got to be excited about it. And he's their best defensive lineman. Decision time for Arizona. It's well, a fourth you, down. You said Tommy likes to go on he fourth He does down. like to go for him on fourth down, and he uh, was four for four uh, with two-point plays coming into this season. He's 0 for two this year. He needs two and a half yards here. That's a long, short yardage play. Oh. The big, heavy guy put too much weight on his hand, and he <laughs> buckled his arm in it right there. That's Vincent Smith, number 72, 343 pounds. He's upset. Been playing hard. You'll see number 72 in the center of your screen. Left center. See, he moved a little early. Oh, my gosh. Good thing he didn't fall on anybody. He's going to be a dandy football player, that guy. And it was his, his mother went to UCLA. He's a graduate from UCLA. Who's she rooting for today? Her son. Her son, you bet. Okay. I'd root for him, too. Well, we've seen a fake field goal. Hey, they have Miller's spread. on the field if they go to the short man if they see it but they said UCLA was pretty sound yeah in its special team plus when you coach against coach Tommy Lane these guys Donahue and Tommy know each other so well I mean they've covered every point he'll try to knock it down in the corner if he can fair catch at the 10 yard line that was Scott Miller who has scored both of UCLA's touchdowns Tommy Maddox Brings the Bruins back at the 10-yard line. Dick, did you see anything that Arizona has changed up defensively against Maddox and the Bruins as this game unfolds? I really haven't. I, uh, they're playing a complete package. I haven't seen much of the bare eight-man front defense here in the third quarter. UCLA overall, I think, has done a good job of protecting the number one pass rush team in the Pac-10. They show their basic defensive look this time. Smith, hole on the right side on a little cutback, comes for the first down, depending on where they mark it. Very close to a first down. Okay. Here, take a look at scoring by quarters right here, going into the fourth quarter. UCLA's offense is the number one scoring offense in the fourth quarter. Arizona's defense, in turn, is the number one scoring defense in the fourth quarter. Should be an interesting fourth quarter. We heard the Kevin Singleton story at halftime, mm -hmm. and that was the young man who was out there wrapping up Kevin Smith, not in time to stop him from a, from a first down. But such a heartwarming story that he is even able to return and play football. And you've got to wish him so much goodwill and and the way he now down in Tucson whenever there are youngsters who are afflicted with cancer he goes over to the hospital to see him I know he's a big hero to a lot of the cancer patients down there and it's just great to see him out here on the field playing a spinning move by Brown again after a three yard game you made a, a point I talked with him the other day and then coach Tommy verified this and said this he goes over to the uh, leukemia ward at the hospital and visits with the kids he said when he was in there people would come to see him because he had a name and he was an athlete and they'd come to pay their respect and not many people came to see the other kids and he felt sorry for them so now he's going to visit all the little kids here he is Kevin Singleton his brother a number one draft choice uh, New England Patriots and rotating as a starter Chris Singleton oh you just hope that Kevin keeps it going what a great story that is we've ended three quarters that was the fastest of our three so far, wasn't it? UCLA 14, Arizona 14. And we'll continue after this message and a word from our ABC stations. episode of a countdown
start the final quarter. UCLA with a second down and a long five yards to go. Maddox, the quarterback, 14 all Ooh, with Arizona. Nice play. They're short of the first down as your man Case doing it again. He Coach. is playing awfully good football today. Really doing a nice job. He's, you know, he's made 260 tackles coming into this game. He's had 27 consecutive starts. He knows where the ball is and what to do when he gets there. Scott Miller comes into the game with the play. He's caught both touchdown strikes thrown by Maddox. He's out to number eight's left. Here's that bear defense right now. They might audible and throw. He's doing exactly that. He wants Miller. Miller breaks free at the 40-yard line. First down, Bruins. Eight-man front defense, three deep, playing man-to-man. -man. He just laid it up over the outside shoulder, right where he had to put the football, or inside shoulder, and actually, you'd run <laughs> Well done, whatever he did with it. Tight man to man, coverage by Todd Burden. First and 10 after the 35 yard gain. Ball at Arizona's 40 yard line. The toss to Brown. Only a two yard gain. You watched Scott Miller with that catch. He has scored both touchdowns. And let's take a look at the second one here, Dick. They fake the toss scene, then he turns and looks. Now he throws it down the seam. He throws the safety down. There's no help inside, and there's the first one. Then Arizona came back and watched this effort by Malaula. Gets he'll a good chop it away on the option, and he'll take on Turner. Here he goes. He's a broad jumper. Ooh, long jumper, they call it now, don't they? Wham! <laughs> what a great play. Yeah. Is that Rick Holt? Yeah, Rick Holt, number 37. Up. Nine starts last year at the cornerback position, playing safety this year. You know, speaking of the upsets around college football, take a look at the Associated Press top five coming into the day. Notre Dame and Florida State, both losers. You can speculate that Michigan will vault to one with a big win over Wisconsin. Virginia was idle. Auburn could jump all the way to two, and Virginia could move up. So the rankings are going to be rather fascinating to look at this week. Ooh, Schmidt. Good block over there. And a good tackle by Hammerschmidt, number 15, short of a first down. Yeah, there was, oh, and Hammerschmidt can really hit you, but there was a very fine block by the tight end over there to allow him to slide right outside from that double tight end formation. You'll see what I mean right here at the top of your screen. You see the hook block up there by the tight end. He just annihilates that man right there. And that's Maddox playing in that position, 71, for the first time. So he's allowed to make a mistake once in a while playing there for the first time. Need to get to the Arizona 30 for a first down. Slot the Maddox in Brown Brown is again. short of it. It could be Daloiso time as Case number 50 steps up big one more time for the Wildcats. Here, taking a look. Taking a look at the linebacker right here. Just watch this young man play. We've mentioned his name many times. He's making a lot of plays. He attacks the line of scrimmage. He sees it happen there. He sees the blocking. He goes up underneath, get, makes the lineman miss him, gets and makes the play. Terry Donahue going for it on fourth down. That's again like uh, Arizona a little while ago, almost in the same spot. A fourth and two's a long two. On a fake, they're going to throw. comes out he makes a fake in the backfield there freezes the run there freezes the defense there he gets a little out move on again Lewis there he was covering him inside he beat him outside and then took and ran it in for the end zone touchdown Daloiso <laughs> 21 14 
The only man to win seven consecutive bowl games says three points won't beat Arizona. We'll gamble on fourth down. Homer Smith sending in a great call. Maddox with the execution. Miller is third touchdown. We're coming back. It's Arizona's turn. When I started this company, AFC Championship game on ABC's Monday Night Football. The hero, Scott Miller, 40, 45, 32 yards for the three Bruin touchdowns. Bates turn it back now for Arizona. Great speed, gets to the 20, down at the 27-yard line. Controversial ending to a Missouri-Colorado game. Let's go to Roger Twible in New York for that story. Roger. Oh, Brent, it is controversy. Two controversies. Missouri led at 31-27, just seconds to go. Charles Johnson, the quarterback for Colorado. Take a look at it now. This is actually fifth down. The marker said fourth. That's one controversy. The other controversy was, did he get in the end zone? There was a big huddle by the officials. We have talked to the press box at Missouri where they said, indeed, five downs were run, but it stands as is. Colorado beats Missouri 33-31. Back to you, Brent. All right, Roger, thank you very much. What an ending to that game. First and ten here. We got one brewing to Malaulu, the left-handed quarterback, forced to take off down at the 19-yard line. Meet Shaw, 53, bringing him down. Meet Shaw has the quickness to make those kind of plays coming from the inside linebacker position. Had 14 tackles versus Michigan. Someone had to tackle him, and he can do it. You'll see him coming from the inside of your screen to the left side. You'll see the big... Vinny and Ganofo, 61 out there. Now here comes Meet Shaw making that play inside out. See, he could, the coverage took the pattern away downfield. He had no choice but to try to tuck the ball away and run it. Good job by Meet Shaw. Second and 16, the Bruins continue to hold on without their leading tackle, Roman Pfeiffer, out with an injury today and missing the game, hoping to be back next week or the week after. Hello! Great defensive play again as 51 and that was your friend on what Twebby. Here he is right here. You can see him taking a move to the left there and Paul Toffemeyer 59 allowed him to get backside on him too quick. He good penetration. Third and 20. Complete. Oh, he had the first down for the Wildcats, and he couldn't hold on. He dropped it by Turner. He dropped it, but Eric Turner made the great play. It flashed in front of the ball, and I think it, it broke his concentration. That's a seam pattern. They're stretching the field horizontally from side to uh, sideline to sideline. He looks back, and he fires it right where it has to be. Now, you'll see it right in the zone there, right there. He should have caught that football. Should have caught that football. Well, he saw Took his was, eye off it or he could hear he coming. could hear Turner coming. See, the other thing in, in defense of, of Bates, he is a running back and wide receiver. Sometimes it's, it's tough to be real good at both. Now Scott Miller, who's caught three scoring passes, set to return this punt. He fields it at midfield. Steps to the outside. Gone again. 20. Hold on. A flag at midfield. See, the punter punted the ball over there right out in front of the wall to form for the return. No touchdown penalty against UCLA. But that ball was punted in a perfect position to return. Taking a look from the end zone now. Follow the wall as it sets up to the right side of your screen. See him screening off over there? Now the ball is punted over in front of that wall. Now he makes a man miss. Griffith right there, number 85. He gets the block. Ooh, they call that a clip. All right, that was number 95 missing that net. That is Zeno Alexander. 
Penalized 15 yards from the spot of the foul. Be first and 10, UCLA. Dick, it looked like a clip. Yeah. And it, let's see if this isn't 44, who comes back right there. It really, uh, to me, it didn't look like a clip, to be honest with you. But that's thought not he was pushing other. him yeah. from behind. I thought he pushed him all the way, Dick. I, yeah. And that would be the young man, Pat McPherson, unfortunately. A little exuberant. Pat McPherson's dad is the defensive coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers and coached with me here on this oh, UCLA's that his death. That's oh, his he's son. Done a great job. I knew him when he was just getting out of diapers. That's how old I am. First and ten. UCLA leading it by seven. Ten minutes now. Left in the fourth. Well, Our football behind the right side of the UCLA line. Do you notice? The quarterback exchange technique executed by Tommy Maddox. As he leaves the line of scrimmage and he's going to hand it off, he extends both arms all the way out so that running back can really see the ball being seated. Miller back. He brought the play in and says, throw it to me, kiddo. <laughs> I'm hot. What a difference he's made with this Bruin team. Out with injuries until last week. Returned a big punt against Washington State. Has blazing speed. Lewis is way off the line now, not pressing him at all. Here's a mistake on this one. It's a broken play. Maddox throws an interception. That's a broken play all the way. Arizona's ball. Zeno Alexander. You, I really believe <laughs> this was a broken play. I think you see you have two tight ends in here, and normally on this they fake one way and bring the tight end across. Let's see if that's what they were trying to do. See, they fake it over there. Here comes the tight end across. Now he comes out there. Good pressure by Johnson. Actually, that ball was blocked by Reggie Johnson, number 47. Good job by Reggie Johnson, the speedster at the defensive line position. Great speed by Johnson. Set it up. Alexander with the interception. Arizona back at the Bruin, 35-yard line. They trail it by seven. Short side and well defended by the Bruins. They'll take that five yards. That'll show the slow the pursuit down just a little bit. Lambert making the stop on the short side of the field. They run the same reverse with a toss. This time they're just faking the handoff, and here comes Bate handing it back there. Now, see, he's outside right now. He's got a tackle out there front leading him, but he couldn't quite get there. Great House was trying to work over there to help him block or give him a good block. McGill replaces Bates. Great house set behind the fullback Hampton. The big thing in this kind of a series late in the game is to do what you do best. Don't get too fancy. And the option is what they, That's do, what best. they do best. First down, Arizona, depending on where they spot the ball. Tommy Prothrow taught me this a long time ago working for him here at UCLA and when I was learning his offense he said Dick in critical situations do two things first do what you do best and give the ball to your best football player don't worry about what the play is just give the ball to your best football player and they run options best they ought to stay with them bring the chains out here with 826 to go in regulation that's what they would actually prefer third and inches they get a free down here and two downs to get the first down well the unknown coach from Arizona but if you talk to folks in the coaching business they will tell you that Dick Tomey has done a great job at Arizona replacing Larry Smith who jumped over to Southern California one of the best recruiters in the business right there in the last two years they're second in the number of wins in the Pac-10 so he's been doing a good job Great House is in the backfield. Hampton is there along with McGill. Malalulu is the quarterback. <laughs> Malalulu faking. Now throwing. And almost intercepted. She. Boy, I'll tell you. That was Williams, number 14, who was right there. But remember now, they've got fourth down to come back and get the first down. There's I, your I know it. gambler. I know it. I tell you, this, I just, personally, I just think when you're in this kind of a situation, he's making all the fakes. He does a good job. Good boy. You see that he has them all fooled. But he darn near throws the interception right there. Almost throws the interception. 
Don't take chances when you're in a position to win the football game. Go ahead and beat on them. Now, they bring in their big fullback, Mike Strydnick. And he is in the backfield with Malaulu going for the first down. Dick, let's talk about it. This was a great fake by Malaulu, except oh. everybody didn't bite. Well, it was a good fake. See, the pursuit came from the backside. He fooled everybody in front where he was coming out, but on the backside, someone came in there chasing him, and he was, and then the crossing pattern he tried to throw, there was a guy in front of it, and he tried to throw it anyway. First and 10. The ball is at the UCLA 25-yard line. Great house. Good stuffed defense. in the middle. Oh. The Bruins were ready. Shaw and Tuala, number 66, there defensively. Say Tupi Tuala and Mitch Shaw. They have really shut down the rushing game. Look at this. Running back 100 yards or more, nine wins, three losses. And, you know, that same statistics hold up in the National Football League. Over the last seven years, it's 73% win when you have a running back run for 100 yards. Malaulu is a left-handed quarterback. Let's not forget that. The wide side is off to his left right now on second and ten. They're going to come after him off the point here. Here they come. Steps away from the pressure. Sprints free. Inside the ten-yard line for an Arizona first down. Dion Lambert tackled him after a 14-yard gain. Mobility at the quarterback position is so critical. He has going to see the pressure coming off here and he's able to duck up underneath it you'll see it up here here comes one he's up inside there's another coming up up outside and there he goes good move look at that mobility and add on a personal foul against the Bruins <laughs> don't lose your cool guys you know that Mala Mala Una was an academic athletic honor student in high school he's not just a, a quarter quarterback Malaulu is a smart young man dick as a result of the personal foul the ball placed down near the five yard line first and goal for Arizona I don't know who committed the personal foul but some those uh, the big thing in, in critical situations is to control your enthusiasm and in your intensity to help you not hurt you guess what they'll run huh? Set that power eye with the bone, then McGill steps in motion. They load to the right side. It'll be great house into the end zone. Was he down before he went in, however? At the one yard line, they're going to spot it there. So it'll be second and goal. Great house didn't get to play much football last year. He had an injured heel and he missed almost six or seven football games. And here he is getting to play now. Deep eye handoff. You can see number 60, the offensive left guard, Rick Warren, pulling around the point, and he cuts up behind it. This is a great shot. How'd you like to be linebacker, ladies and gentlemen? You're sitting home on the couch. You think you'd have made that play? <laughs> Brent would have. I know that. He just stepped up there and knocked him on his that was canasta, a lot of help. <laughs> Second down and goal. Great house over the top with a great flying effort for the score. Arizona one point away from a tie. Now the kicker, Costin, coming in, has nine for nine for PATs. He has not missed one this year. He has 41 consecutive PATs in his career coming into this ball game. Here's what you have to do to score when, it's, when there's a lot of people there that don't like you. You have to get up over the top. And Turner was up where he had to be. They just didn't have far to go, and he got it in there. Ooh. Bad snap when they finally got it down, oh. deflected over Woo! for the extra point. Better to be uh, lucky than good. What a great you, it, job it, it, by the it, it, holder brand. Good thing Coach Donnie goes to school, uh, goes to church every Sunday. I'll tell you that. Arizona 21, UCLA 21. We're coming back. does down here with cost and timing as you know absolutely critical on an extra point bad snap 
gets it up. Ball is deflected, and it goes through for an extra point. When it's going right, it's going right. There's the young man that made the long snap walking with the trainer. That's a precarious spot, that long oh. snapper. Yeah, it is. You've got your head down there, and he got drilled pretty good. Always watching for a trick kick, although you would not expect him to pull anything right here. But you see how they're lined up, really clustered. They have been known to just turn from that position and sprint and kick the ball. That's why you have to defense that position. Now they back off. UCLA was aligned in case they came with it. Remember, we said at the start of the show, UCLA has been great. Their two wins of coming back and coming from behind to win the football game. They have another opportunity. Or actually, it's even right now, but... <laughs> Someone's going to do it. Had a punt return for a touchdown that was called back. That's Some Brown buried at the 12-yard line. 88 yards for Tommy Maddox and the Bruins here with 5.53. Neither team has used a timeout here in the second half. There's the shocker of the day. 36-31. Stanford and Dennis Green upsetting Notre Dame. Miami ousting Florida State. I can't remember the last time numbers one and two lost on the same Saturday. I'm sure somebody out there knows right away. And Auburn with a tough game. They may not jump too high. Michigan with a loss to Notre Dame well could wind up number one. What an interesting vote for everybody this week. First and ten. Coming out now from the 12. One setback behind Maddox. And he will use it. But for no gain as Ty Parton brings him down. That Ty Barton last year played offense and defense some in the ball game. Here, Illinois jumped up on top of Ohio State. What you predicted. But I never could get you to get out on a limb on this one. Gosh, I love both of these guys. You know what I like? I, of course, they don't want to tie either. I don't like to see anybody lose. Second down and 10. Smith in front of Brown in the eye. The fake, Maddox to throw, complete. Close to a first down. Moore the receiver. And Lewis with coverage for the Wildcats. Earlier I mentioned how he extends the ball to, to hand the football off. Now watch him to extend, and now fake it, put the ball in the hip and hide it. He comes out there, hard for the defenders to see that. Good fake, good execution. Dickett's third and one. Smith the fullback they load up the eye they add wills they're in an unbalanced line too, set right to short field so right figures to open a hole Smith the ball carrier and he gets the first down for the Bruins give it to the big guy 250 pound fullback out of Oakland Skyline High School coached by coach Tony Fardella called that first down too quickly. They got to bring the chains out. Well, they have to earn your pay. Those guys, chain men are getting paid today too, you know. I think he this made is it. a big measurement. Uh, he, he made it. That's what I thought originally. That was not even close. Uh, been a good football game. Hard. Both teams playing very hard. Some good individual defensive plays as well as good individual offensive play. Your feeling about the progress of Maddox. We saw him beaten by Michigan a couple weeks ago. Well, that's, you know, that's a, Michigan is a different team. I mean, it's in, right, almost in a different league right now. They're a far superior football team to any college team we've seen. Bruins with a first down. Move the tight end over to the left. And they run the toss with Brown. He breaks one pursuit. tackle. Glonick is there. Okay, Glonick and also I think Ty Parton coming down from the backside. Good backside pursuit by the defense. Number 96, Glonick is an interesting story. Went to University of Iowa, 86 and 88. Played in 10 games in 87. Dropped out. Disciplinary reasons. Could not play at Arizona last year. Now he's playing and playing hard. Second down and eight. Man-to-man -man coverage. They're coming after him. Maybe he's audibly. 
Option. They'll toss it. Brown. Close to another first down. Lewis may have hit him short. Dick, the Honda Scholar Athlete of the Week is brought to you by American Honda, who is proud to support amateur athletics. This week's award goes to Bud Bowie, junior offensive guard for the University of Oregon. What a great time we had up there in Eugene as Bud and his teammates upset BYU 32 to 16. And Honda presents a check for $2,000 to the General Scholarship Fund of the University of Oregon. His grade point average in biology, 3.64. Third and short with the play stopped by the officials. Timeout, UCLA. Number the one. Bruins use a timeout here at 2.54. We'll also seize the opportunity to break away. And we'll bring you right back to the Rose Bowl in a moment. I remember. with Maddox keeping it for the first down. We started the broadcast today talking about the standings in the Pac-10. UCLA unbeaten in the conference. Two come from behind wins against Stanford and Washington State. Arizona, and boy, they, I'll tell you, Arizona's really the cardiac kids. Yeah. They held off Oregon in the closing seconds, couldn't get the job done again against California. Now Dick Tomey, in the midst of another nail biter, coming right down to the final two minutes, with the score tied, you would think looking at the standings that UCLA could afford a tie better than Arizona. However, UCLA's closing schedule is murderous. And they wanted to get a little daylight today. Maddox off a of play fake. Receivers are covered. And he'll go down for the sack. Well, Arizona came in here, the leading sacking team in the Pac-10, and you can see why. They wanted to throw the play action. The coverage took the pattern away. He had no place to go. Obviously, no check down receiver to throw to. Therefore, he gets sacked. He reaches back, makes the good play action fake. He gets back. Now, he, he's looking left. There's a slot formation pattern going down there. Good penetration up inside that blocks vision. Parton, number 99. And Maddox. And, and Maddox. And Maddox was the Pac-10 leader coming into this ballgame in sacks. Second down and 15, Maddox back in that shotgun. Hand off to Brown. Well, he got it up now to third and nine. Good call by Homer Smith. Time running down, trying to get down for Daloiso. What about Daloiso's distance? What are we talking about as far as UCLA is concerned? Well, he's he is uh, Daloiso is seven for seven inside 40 yard lines coming into this ball game. So that's what they're trying to do. But I tell you, sometimes coaches get themselves beat thinking field goal, field goal, field goal way too soon. You know, there's nothing wrong with breaking a good, well-executed offensive play and score. You know, you, know you, you edge it down, edge it down, edge it down there, and you put the ball in the hands, in the game in the hands of one guy, and he shanks it over the, the left standard, you know. I've, seen, I've been there. I know what I've, every once in a while I said, what did I do that for? So if we don't get a Dalloweso, the most dangerous man for UCLA today has been number two. Yeah, you're going to get the ball in his hands. That's Scott Miller, yep. the yep. wide man. Arizona called a timeout. We'll get our bookkeeping straight here. Both coaches with two timeouts remaining and a minute and a half, and we're tied at 21. You stop and look back through the ball game. Arizona's interception in the end zone of the Maddox pass on the play action pass and then the punt return call back on a clip. You got a tie football game. Seven oh UCLA the first catch by Miller Arizona from behind feels one yard run up 14 seven then it was Malaulu tying it up. That's the way it's been going all day. Miller's third Arizona tying it last minute and a half now. La Chapelle is the slot man. Maddox on third and long will throw to Wills coming out of the backfield and Wills gets the first down before he's out of bounds. 
at the 44-yard line. A first and 10 for the Bruins coach. That was designed all the way just to get the ball in his hands quickly. He's a very elusive type runner. Not great speed, but great balance and very shifty in the open field. He can make you miss. Now they're going to see run almost like a little pick right here. They're screening off with the slot man and the tight end in motion, or the slot man in motion. Screen off the defense inside and get him out there in the open one-on-one. -on -one. Or none on one, would they like? <laughs> They're going to give him Miller and Moore wide, two tight ends, and Smith the lone setback with a first and ten. Smith Ooh. swinging to the left, bangs ahead for about five yards, and a penalty marker comes down. <laughs> Personal foul. Oh, it's face mask. Face mask. A first down and a costly mistake by Arizona. Oh, yeah, he's got his helmet. Took it right off his head. Yeah, see, that's more than incidental contact. That's 15 yards. Bobby Rowland. Bobby Rowland. He's an academic All-American, as I said, out of junior college, so he's smart enough not to do that on purpose. Now a minute 20 and UCLA getting closer and closer. Two timeouts to go. The right. ball is at the Arizona 36 yard line. Right a now a slight breeze would be in Daluiso's face if they have to settle for a field goal attempt. Fake to Brown. On the move. Intercepted by Lewis the game. Lewis is free on the sideline. He'll score. Lewis for the touchdown. Arizona scores. This one's not over. There's 50 seconds to go. 28-21, Dick. Great play. Great play. Went to the well one too many times with this little short out pattern. Play action rolling to the left of your screen. He comes out there, makes a nice fake, does everything right. He's thrown in front of a great tailback. A little wobbly throw, hung it up out there. And he comes up, and that's the third touchdown interception return for him in one season. Didn't he have two? Coming into this ball game, I know he had uh, one against Oregon. Outstanding play. Well, there's a man who had been picked on all day, but yet the great ones always come through in crunch time. And Darrell Lewis did exactly that with a 70-yard touchdown return, the third interception Tommy Maddox has thrown today. But he still has 50 seconds, speed on the outside, with which to work here. And they are instructing Lewis in that secondary how to play the last 50 seconds, not to ease up now against Maddox. The one thing he can do is throw deep very well. That was Coach Dwayne Aquina, the secondary coach, talking to him about just what Brent was saying, how to play in this situation, what he wants from the coverage. See, if they elect to take this kickoff deep, you would think that they would in this situation. Let Brown, who is standing there at the Bruins' six-yard line, see what he can do. A shocking turn of events as UCLA appeared to be driving for a winning touchdown or at least a field goal attempt, and suddenly, that man, number four, Darrell Lewis. He says, we'll start out playing zone. Did you hear him say that? Give them the short stuff underneath and make them go the distance if they can in 50 seconds. UCLA must stop the clock as they move along. On the ground, they're going to have decent field position, not spectacular, but they're out to the 29-yard line. Clock at 46 seconds. Nice play by Jay Phillips, number 23.
You know, the, the play that Lewis made against Oregon was when he tackled Bill Musgrave. That's one that certainly Coach Brooks and Musgrave will never forget. They'll use the shotgun on first down. Good protection. Throws complete to Moore. Gotta get out of bounds. And the first down, 38 seconds to go. UCLA 51 yards away on the 20-yard pass to Reggie Moore. How many timeouts do they have? They each have two timeouts left. The short side is to Maddox's left. The slot to his right. Maddox across the line of scrimmage. First down, have to stop the clock quickly. Oh, time out now, he has to. Got one more left. See, they're in that two deep prevent type coverage right now. And when you pop up inside like that, the two safeties are really deep. They didn't have to call one. But mm -hmm. change move the first down in college football. Ball is at the 35 yard line. Maddox again from the shotgun, driving the Bruins, throwing. Diving attempt over there on the far sideline to Reggie Moore, incomplete. The clock stops at 18 seconds. I thought I saw Maddox jump up and call timeout. That's why I mentioned that, right? You know, at the conclusion of the game, we're going to select the Chevrolet most valuable player of the game from each team. Chevrolet will donate $1,000 to the general scholarship fund of two schools that have battled their hearts out here in the Rose Bowl, UCLA and Terry Donahue, Arizona, and Dick Tomey. Now 35 yards away. UCLA must have the touchdown. Donahue must think whether to go for one or two. He's in a conference. Down right now, 28-21. Maddox throws. Incomplete at the 10-yard line. Hammerschmidt was there. Michael Moore, the intended receiver, at number 15, was working there defensively. 12 seconds left on the clock. See, the other thing you're thinking as a defensive coach calling the signals now, how loose of zones do I play? <laughs> and it'll be Arizona which will use a timeout. The defense will get it together with 12 seconds to go. How about a hook and ladder play from Homer? Has he got that in his bag of tricks? There's Homer Smith right there in the middle of your screen. He's talking to down on the field. He's the calmest man in the ballpark. Yeah, he's probably the brightest. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't argue that. He better come up with an answer here. Yeah. I, you know, that, that third degree he has in the seminary might come in handy right now, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Second down, but that's really not as important as Tommy Maddox trying to get the ball into the end zone to somebody. And at least have an effort on a deflected pass or anything. He's got 12 seconds. He'll get two pass plays off here. That's what he figures to do. The other thing I would do, I would put my receivers in the ball game that have the best broken field running ability because if he is forced to throw the ball in front of the zones, then you have the opportunity to break a tackle, shake and break, and get it in the end zone. Red shirt freshman. We talk about being put under the gun early. He threw an interception for a touchdown last week in the Washington State game and then came back and beat him. Miller, LaChapelle, and Moore are the wide men. Wills is into the backfield. They're going to come after him with a little pressure here. They're coming after him. Maddox throws. Miller's free. Deflected out of the end zone. I'll tell you, that was a guts defense decision. I'm sure that Coach... Uh, told me how to enter into Larry McDuff, the defensive coordinator's decision, but they were tight, man to man, and they said, we're going after him, and UCLA did a good job of picking up the stunts and, and the linebacker blitzes. Look at this right here. This is close. He had a step on him, too. Roland. Just a good defense by Roland. Did a great job, and we're down to the last play of the game. Now what do you do? Do you play the man to man, or do you play the zone? I think you play the zone. Substitute a fresh defensive lineman or two in there. If Even if they aren't as good, they are fresh. They'll rush better. There is one decision that Terry Donahue dearly wants to make here this afternoon. Do I go for one or go for two? He would love to have that option right now. Yes, he would. 
It's 28-21. Five seconds to go. Fourth down, and this is it for Maddox. You know what I would do? I'd go for the tie if I were there in that situation. Well, let's take a break and uh, check out that beautiful campus down in Tucson at the University of Arizona. We'll come right back for the last play. Heart is pounding. Two fellows who worked for him on the coaching staff here at UCLA have brought it down to the final five seconds. I don't think they'd want it any other way. These guys compete. They, play, they, they compete when they jog together, when they played golf together. And UCLA will use a timeout. They'll huddle again. We'll take a break and come right back. Interception. What a storyline here today. They pick on him early with Miller. They beat him deep for a couple of touchdowns. He sits there and sits there. The leader for the Jim Thorpe, an All-American candidate, touted by the pros, and then he comes through with a great interception. Now it's Tommy Maddox's turn. Here it is, last five seconds. Everybody out. Maddox will throw it in the end the zone. He's crossed the line of scrimmage. Cover! He's across the line of scrimmage. Penalty marker down. It doesn't count. He crossed the line of scrimmage. I saw him do it. It's going to be a heartbreak for the crowd. Yeah, uh, Brent, you know, I was thinking that he's an inexperienced kid. I saw him step up in that hole, and I said, don't cross the line of scrimmage, and I was watching him, and he did. It'll end. Sean LaChapelle's catch goes for naught. A heartbreak for Terry Donahue. I think you'll see here he is right here. Now you follow him as he slides up inside the pocket. Gets outside rush. He's got, you know, they're rushing three men. Johnson 47 come around the outside. Glonick inside. Now he steps up. Now he's over the over the line of scrimmage. He didn't, actually didn't even have to move that far up in there. But at the other end, what an unbelievable catch by La Chapelle. Now there is another flag that has been thrown. I don't know that you can end a game on a defense. Hold on just a second. We've got a personal foul being called on the quarterback, Tommy Maddox, and you cannot end a game. Forward pass by the offense quarterback was beyond the line of scrimmage. Penalty includes a loss of down. That'll be Arizona's ball, first and ten. We have a dead ball foul, personal foul on a UCLA. 15-yard penalty. Arizona will have to play one play. It will extend the corner one play. That could be a new rule. Anytime you have a contact with an official or anything happens, it now is an automatic personal foul. Here he is again. Now you see the three-man rush. Ty Part 99 coming out the outside. Now he's moving forward, moving forward. He's moving forward. You can see the line of scrimmage flag right here. Freeze it right there. Freeze it right there. Here's the line of scrimmage. You can see his foot going across it right there. Go ahead, roll it. There he's across, yep. By a foot. I'll tell you, when you talk about a game being a game of inches, whoo. Look at who's upset, the chancellor. The chancellor of the university. He stands behind Coach Donahue. There's Chuck Young, the chancellor. He's a competitor. Look at him. Get after him, Chuck. <laughs> you can do it. You're the boss. Now the possession <laughs> change. He loves to dead ball foul. Arizona will take this, kneel down, and leave with a 28-21 victory. There it is. Arizona wins it. 